All right, this is our solar light tower available through Finning Caterpillar. I want to go over some features of the light tower, how to use it, its operational modes, and just go through a brief description of it here. All right, so this is the solar light tower. And what I wanted to do was just run through a little bit of how it works, what it does, go through some of the features, operational process, that sort of thing. This light tower is fully autonomous. When you turn it on, you don't have to worry about anything. It's got daylight sensors. When it gets dark enough, the lights will turn on. When it gets light out, the lights will turn off. That's how it's designed. You'll notice it's got six solar panels, each at about 455 watts. So about a half a kilowatt each. Gives you a total of about three kilowatts. In production and actual value, you get about two, two and a half on a sunny day. Cloudy day, you're looking at about one kilowatt. Inside here, you actually have a 15 kilowatt hour battery. So that means that on a full sunny day, in about six, seven hours, that's enough to recharge the battery. And if you have 12 hours of cloudy day, that is also enough to recharge the battery. Basically what that means is that in seven, eight hours, these solar panels will completely 100% recharge the batteries and it will run these LED lights for about four days, five days with no sunlight. So if you have one sunny day all week, you have enough power to get you through the week. And even on a cloudy day today, you're still getting about a kilowatt. So you're still getting seven kilowatts, which is more than enough to run the lights overnight. These solar light towers are absolutely a beast. They have way more power output than any of the competitors even come close to. I mean, the entire trailer is literally all just solar. This is designed to work up in the northern parts of Canada in the winter time. It is more than overkill in the summertime. Now the whole goal of these light towers is that you completely forget about them. I mean, you bring them out to site, you set them up, you turn the switch on, they turn on automatically at night, they turn off automatically in the daytime, you don't need to fuel them, you don't need to service them, you just set them up where you want them and forget about them. You don't need to fill them up, you don't need to pay somebody to go out there with the fuel, you don't worry about any fuel spilling on site, you can put them near creek bed. So if you need power near a spot that you can't even bring fuel and refuel near, this is perfect for app, that application. So not only is it clean, but it saves money in operational cost. But it does not matter which way you park this on site. If one side is facing south, that's enough power to recharge it. If both are facing east-west, that's enough to power to recharge it. No matter which way you drop this light tower on site, it will always get the required amount of sunlight without having to use a tracker, without having to set anything up. You just drive it to site, drop it, good to go. So up here we have our LED lights. These are about 40 to 50,000 lumens of light output. It has two modes. Winter mode, this is if you've got a lot of snow, you're not getting a lot of light, or you just really don't need a lot of power. You can run this in the winter power saver mode. This is the summer mode, full power. It'll run the whole lights off the batteries. If you have no solar whatsoever, it'll run this at about three days with this, about five, six days in the winter time like this. Winter time's a little bit less because we are using a bit of power to heat that battery box. All right, so to go over how this junction box works. Up top here, you have the battery meter. This is how many volts or how much battery life you have in the thing. This is an hour meter. That really doesn't matter because it's solar. It's not like it's a diesel motor where you care about the hours. Um, out here, this is the power switch for the outlets. We have two 110 outlets and something that absolutely no other solar light tower has. We've got 220, so you can run a welder, washing machine, camp site trailer, whatever you want off that 220. Over here, we also have 12 volt cigarette lighter if you got a cell boost or anything, and USB so you can put your phone or whatever other accessories you want. Every little thing is on its own switch, so you gotta turn each one on, that way there's no power acidic load on it. And then yeah, light switch. This switch on the top right, turn that on if you wanna use your 110 or your 220 outlets. If you wanna use the USB cords or the auxiliary cigarette lighter, you use that switch there. I like to turn it off when I'm done. Uh, if you wanna use the light towers, it's this switch here, press it up, that puts it into winter mode where four lights come on, push it down, that'll be summer load where you can use all your lights and just put it into the middle for off. We're one of the only solar light towers on the market that has 110 output. And we are absolutely the only solar light tower that has 220. So if you have something and you're trying to run like a six horsepower pump, 
near a creek and you can't get any kind of thing in there light diesel gas light tower because you can't refuel near a creek or an environmentally sensitive area this will produce portable solar power for that and then if that's not enough you can also recharge the batteries using a 110. And if you don't have 110 power, you can recharge it using a pickup truck and a set of jumper cables on these lugs here. This thing is literally a portable off-grid solar power pack. Okay, so this is the battery box, 15 kilowatt hours. I'm not gonna open it because I really wanna emphasize there is no need whatsoever to open this box. You don't need to open the box. Nothing in there is serviceable. Nothing in there is operational. It is just a bunch of batteries and a power inverter that goes into here. Everything you need is on here. Please do not open the box. Each light tower does come with eight sets of lights to give you about 40, 50,000 lumens on site. And on the back here, it does have a remote feed video camera that you can set up to view anywhere remotely. So if you want to monitor the site, you also have surveillance capabilities. One thing about how the lights work, when you turn them on, they will come on immediately, but then go back off. It actually has a photo cell. So when it gets dark, they turn on automatically. When it gets light, they turn off automatically. Cool thing is, these are made in Canada. The less cool thing, they have hand cranks. You gotta do this to get it up. I get Eric to do that. The light towers will reach a height of 30 feet in order to give you the most optimal lighting of the job site or work area. So while lifting it up, what you wanna do is lift it up so that this pin goes out past that point. Take this out and then I just take it back a half and then it sets on it. When dropping the light tower, you want to pull out all four outriggers. This is going to give you increased stability on unlevel ground. When you're done and you're leaving, just slide them back in and make sure that pin locks. Well, thanks for watching this video about our solar light towers. Hopefully, you learned a little bit more about them and if you want to learn more, they're available exclusively through your Finning Caterpillar dealership. Thanks for watching.